recently asked you guys in a YouTube video to give me video ideas, and believe it or not, like 99% of your comments, um, the people who said, like, a video idea that they thought I didn't do yet, I actually already did. <laughs> um, so, like, out of 500 plus comments, you're gonna laugh at me. I only wrote down 38 ideas that I didn't do yet. Out of 500. <laughs> like, it took me three hours to sift through the comments, think, and write, and... Yeah, that's how bad it is. Like, wow. Like, I mean, come on. What is that? Like, a 5%, 6%, 7% acceptance rate? Like, wow. Um, pretty low, right? <laughs> that comes to show, like, how many videos I've done. Like, seriously, it was... It was probably actually 100% of the comments that, um, they're like, how about you try this role player? How about you do this? You haven't done this before. I have done it. Like, if any of you commented that, I have done it. Rest assured, I have done it. Um, and then people were like, oh, why not make a part four of this or a part two of this? I have done it. <laughs> like, so, yeah, um. I don't want to say I was disappointed because you guys seriously are still helping a lot. I mean, that's still like a month and a half worth of ideas I got out of it, but yikes. Then what after that, you know, like it's thanks God to these custom video ideas. You can book on TonyPomponi.com. You can book your own custom video. My last video, the hour long video at the, your luxury hotel, spa, role play, whatever I'm going to call it. Um, that was a custom book video. Like that's a great way to guarantee hands down I'm gonna do your video even if I've done it before because you guys always seem to come up with the most unique creative ways for me to do it and obviously your support and you know is motivational for me to do something you know um even better than what I can construct on my own you know it, it helps me be more creative uh, with your contributions so yeah and yeah so, basically, um, that's also, yeah, if you would like to book your own service from me, TonyBomboni.com, links below, and uh, thank you, and I appreciate it, and, uh, yeah, it was kind of fun, <laughs> different to make that video, I enjoyed making yesterday's video, so, there you go, <laughs> alright, so let's begin with the motivational messages, so this is you encouragement. This is your motivation to go. Get up now. Come on. Do it already. What are you waiting for? Do the thing that you're supposed to do right now. I'm here to tell you. There's no more excuses. There's no more time to lose. No more time to waste. No more time to wait on what you're supposed to be doing, whether it's your taxes, your homework, your assignment for work. Go. If you need to run an errand, go get that thing now. Go do it. Go do it. You're not supposed to wait. Go now. I'll be here to support you and encourage you. Get that blood flowing. If you're sitting or lying, get up. Get up right now. It's motivation for you to, because motivation is a broad category, for you to fall asleep. I'll give you that permission now. So don't get up. Go ahead, rest. Invite yourself to feel comfortable. Okay, so however this message applies to you, I'm going to try to make it general. It's um, going to be that. So I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to motivate you to do that thing you're supposed to do. For most of you, it's probably going to be getting up and doing that thing, so stretch those legs. You know, there's a way to get comfortable even if you get up, right? Sometimes you're not comfortable when you lie down. You ever notice that? Like, sometimes you're more comfortable standing, so do what feels best right now. Do what feels right. Do what feels good. And what's going to feel better is if you need to do something and get something done, do it already. That's going to make you feel better than waiting, standing around, and then, or sitting around, and then regretting it later, because you're going to feel worse, you're going to feel that guilt eating you up of saying, wow, I did 
yourself and anyone else you've been hurt, you've been betrayed, you feel broken inside, you feel like there's no use, no point anymore to anything, I'm here to tell you, you just moving and inclining those feet to touch that ground is starting something, is doing something, is reason enough to say, I did it. And then once you do it, it makes it so much easier to start walking and then start your day officially. You just have to get up. Do you know how many people right now are not wanting to get up? They're stuck. They're frozen. They can't get up. They're paralyzed. They are so... feeling like they're stuck. Because they're feeling so down that they can't get up. Try your best not to be like that. Try your best to lift yourself up. And a lot of times there are good people in this world who can tell you, Hey, you know, you can call them up and just... Sometimes you need to call that friend and ask for help or that family member for help. Asking them to guide you to get up from that bed, okay? Or you need to call a friend to help you fall asleep, right? Like, sometimes it's nice to do that. You just call them and then you just fall asleep on them. <laughs> like, some may consider it rude, but hey, that's a good thing, right? Like, you were so comfortable and relaxed with that person. They made you fall asleep. Maybe their voice was so soothing that it did something for you. So, yeah. If you need to get up, try not to let this relax you to sleep, but try to let this relax you during the day so you can still feel ASMR while you get up and do things. That's why it's nice to listen to ASMR tunes while you are doing your cooking, your homework. You know, I always do that, like when I have to do something for long hours. Okay, it's nice. Sometimes it's more stimulating than, in a weird way, than listening to music. I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe I've just become numb to ASMR because I do listen to it pretty much every day, every other day. For years. But, yeah, it doesn't, like, I rarely feel tingles anymore. Like, full-blown, like, euphoric tingles. I really haven't in a long, long time. Which, I should take a break, so I do. But, it's nice for me to stay relaxed and at peace and that's more important because peace is a high vibration so if you use this for your peace and have peace during the day because maybe you just don't want to get up because there's no point there's no motive i get the feeling i know the feeling it's like what's the point what's the purpose what's the reason what's the plan it feels like nothing's changing well it's gonna change if you change so you not changing and just you know Honestly, I have to give you tough love. Just laying there is not going to do nothing for you, okay? Um, it's not going to improve your relationship with anyone because you can't help yourself. You can't help anyone. So, you know, now if you ask yourself, okay, what's the point? Why would I help myself when what's the point? You know, we can always ask, like, what's the point in anything? Well, I'll tell you the point. The point is to get up and try, okay, because you're still here. You're still around, and I'm going to tell you. Like, there's always something to do, whether a chore, an errand, doing stuff that you forgot to do, neglected, that oil change, reading that book, you know, picking up that book is just to start. Like, if the only thing you can do today is read that book, you're already doing more than 90% of people. I'm telling you, you know why? Because most people don't even pick up a darn book. Haven't even flipped through a book since high school. Hell, since middle school, okay? So you're going to learn a lot and then that book will motivate you and encourage you and you're going to read something in that book. God will speak through that book to you through that vocabulary to show you what you need to be focusing on next. So go do that. Go do that. Just like, just like if the only thing you know what to do or the only thing you have to do if you're blessed in your life or you don't have to do work, you don't have to go to school anymore, you, your needs are over met, well taken care of, you live in that lifestyle, but you still feel down because you feel like, what's the point, I'm telling you, go pick up that book, go pick up that book, honey, okay, start learning, learning is never enough, you, you're gonna learn until, <laughs> until you're six feet under, I'm just 
saying you're gonna never stop learning in this life and that's how you keep going that's the point the point is to learn to evolve to grow you're not here for no reason you're not here by no accident you are here by divine god okay, hell even this stupid lamp is here for a darn reason to light up this room okay you think there's no point in that i'm telling you there's if there's a point in a lamp there's a point for you you are more than this lamp okay you are more than this stupid lamp you in this garden and this wall and this screen okay <laughs> you are more than this camera this microphone this light i'm sorry to use you as an example paco i love you to bits but we are even more than a beast okay <laughs> No, you didn't hear that, Chipaco. We're all the same. I know. I know you're human, too. I love you. But, um, I had to use Paco as an example just to get you motivated enough to be like, hey, you know, like, this is why having pets is a blessing. One reason why I got an extra pet. A bird wasn't enough to me. I was like, I need something more to, like, get me outside, get me up from bed. A bird will sometimes not wake you up in the morning, and I kept oversleeping, and I kept, that was the point of my life. I'm like, okay, what's the point? There's nothing to wake me up, you know? Paco, my dog, if you sleep with a dog, maybe even a cat, they're gonna woof, or whine, or meow, or scratchy, or something to wake you up early enough, and make you get out of bed so you can take him to the restroom. A cat is self-sufficient, so maybe not. Unless that you close the door and then they can't get out. That's different if you sleep with your cat. But you can't really sleep with a bird. <laughs> but a dog, yeah. So if you have a pet, best thing, if you don't and you like them and you can afford it, get one. I'm telling you, okay? There's always a way, all right? There's a will, there's a way. You'll find a way. That is your motive. To, to go outside, get that fresh air, put those feet on the ground. I keep telling people over and over and over again, no one listens. Walk. Your assignment is to walk. If the only thing you do this today is the only thing you do, do it. Pick up that book and walk your bare feet on the grass, the soil, outside. Not concrete, not asphalt, not cement, not pavement. The ground, the earth, okay? Walk those bare fleshy feet on the earth. That will heal you. That will extract whatever you're going through. That will ground you at least. That will do so many things for you. That is like earth medicine. Okay, I call it earth medicine. Earthly medicine. Okay. I'm not here claiming anything, but I'm just telling you. Go walk barefoot in the sand, okay? Don't worry about the seashells. Don't worry about it, how it hurts. A lot of people have a lot of fear, okay? Myself included. But I try not to let that hold me back, okay? You know, don't worry about stepping on glass, okay? There, there's no glass near the water, okay? Barefoot, sand, earth, ground, feet. Do it. Who cares? Who thinks you're weird do it okay if you have to wear socks that works too you still have your divine connection to the earth but through shoes through sandals through slippers through flip-flops that doesn't work bare feet walk 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 and walking is helpful take a walk go for a walk do that thing stretch those legs right move those thighs and those calves and those arms you know you don't have to start going for a jog. You can just start walking one minute, then walk two minutes, then five. Start. You have to start doing something. Even if you are so gripped by fear, there's nothing you can do. There's always something you can do. Get up. Get a glass of water. Your body will have an urgency to pick up that glass of water. And that's how you start truly. Drink the water. Say a good word to your water. Even if you're in a bad mood, you're not a morning person. Say a good word to that water. I am love. I am love. And drink it. That's mango juice, by the way. <laughs> not really water. <laughs> if water is boring, put a little flavor in it, okay? Put a little juice in it, okay? At least something. 
outside. First thing in the morning, breathe the air. Come back in, wash my face, and then do my favorite thing, which is make myself a cup of coffee. That's what, like, I swear, a cup of coffee cures depression. Like, even if you go through Starbucks drive through you're in your, in your pajamas in your car, you're all cozy, you put the, crank the heater on. Ooh, that's so satisfying. That's, like, the, one of my favorite things, too. If only the drive through was closer to me. It's not, but... Yeah. Like when I book a hotel, that's what I do. Like, first thing in the morning, I shower, and then I go get a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts at the drive through I come back. Oh, it's, like, mm, it's so satisfying. Like, do what makes you happy and feel good. That's how you should start your day, always. Because otherwise, you're going to come across in not the nicest way. And we don't want to be not nice. We want to be, you know, like laughing and kind and yeah so um treat yourself good you're gonna be able to treat others good okay so yeah you come first you are important you are eternity you are light okay so treat yourself like a king and queen because you deserve it and that's how you're gonna treat others like king and queen okay that's the secret there you go so if that's not motivation enough to be the magical powerful person you are i don't know what is <laughs> okay Pet your dog, pet your bird, pet your cat, pet your exotic lizard, pet your tarantula. I don't care. They're all love and light. Pet your snake, pet your chameleon, pet your imaginary friend, okay? Pet your bangle, I don't know, okay? <laughs> pet your pet turtle, pet your... I, do people have butterflies as pets? <laughs> I guess. Pet your pigeon. <laughs> that sounds wrong, I'm sorry. Did I really say pet your lizard? Oh. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Let me not act innocent, y'all. But you know what I mean, okay? Okay, okay, okay. See, sometimes laughter is motivation. It, it lifts your vibration. It lifts you up. Even if you fake laugh, you gotta do it sometimes, okay? Look in the mirror and laugh at yourself in a good way, in a loving way, not a judgmental way. Why are you doing what you're doing? And you'll laugh even more. And you'll laugh because you're laughing. And you'll laugh even more. <sighs> you'll just feel so great. You'll feel like you just went on a Tahitian vacation. Okay? You're going to feel so good in your spirit, in your soul. You're going to invite all that positive vibes your way. And you're going to want to shine it. You're going to... You know what's good about positive vibes? When you give yourself all of that the first thing in the morning... You have so much of it that you cannot help but share it because you feel so good. You want others to feel how good you feel. So this is the beauty in it and this is why it's so contagious, right? <laughs> and you want to do nothing but focus on that light because it's so brilliant. It's like, yeah, you just, that, if that's your motivation, if that's your purpose to share, spread that love and light that's the best darn purpose to have okay that's the best sweet ideal spot you want to be at and it might sit right in your in your heart too if that especially sits right with you that that is part of your plan here i'm telling you that's gonna make you get up no matter what <laughs> okay i'm gonna be honest with you okay at the beginning When I started feeling like really burnt out like years ago and like I felt like what's the point, no motivation, no purpose or like things kept coming too easy to me in life. I noticed I started like manifesting things so effortlessly and easy. I'm like, and then I sort of felt like so strong or powerful in myself or reassured or confident that I'm like, okay, now what's the next step from here? What's the point, right? Like I started thinking like that again. So then my only motivation after thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking for weeks and then months on end, paying the bills. If that's your only motivation, honestly, you're getting there. You're you're at the next. You're getting there, okay? Because um, sometimes the only motive you have is I have to attend my job so I can pay my roof, so I can eat and have somewhere to live. Like honest to God, truth. That's probably most people's motivation, okay? 
that's motivation enough to keep going, but it, it, it doesn't have an undercurrent of positivity. I get it. So, like, I was, like, that, operating that way a long time, like, too long, okay? And um, I was content with my life, but there was always that, like, undercurrent, like, mm, I can improve, you know? And then when I realized, like, there is more, there's not just, I'm not just here to pay bills, I'm not just here to be a slave, a robot, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like, wow, I can look at things differently, and because I look at things differently, I feel differently toward these things, and because I feel differently toward these things, I'm no longer, I'm self-conflicting. I'm not conflicting with myself, so you're going to get this kind of revelation over time. Not in the exact order, obviously, because everyone has a different story and journey, but, you know, you're just going to realize, like, I'm not just, I wasn't born or created just to be someone else, make someone else money, or you know what I'm saying? So, um, there's so much more to that, but I'm just summarizing here to just kind of get you to realize, like, the point and motivation, and, like, to do your best, to be motivated with the best of intention, but even if, again, if you can just, like, the baby steps, if you can just start with, like, okay, I have no choice but to eat, to survive, to live, so, yeah, then that will help you move, you know, because if you just lay there and do nothing, you're gonna get fired, you're gonna lose work, money, whatever. People, you know, loved ones are not gonna really be there to care for you anymore because you're not being there and caring for them, you know? We all kind of feed into each other energy exchange in a way, so, like, we need each other, so if you're not there for someone, they're not gonna be there for you. They're gonna be there for you to support you and comfort you, but they can't be there for an eternity to do that, okay? There's a person in the Bible that laid there for 40 years by the pools of Thespa, and Jesus had to be literally like, get up, get up already, and that made them get up. Like, he literally, like, I think he, like, grabbed him and shook him, like, get up, like, no one's gonna help you, feel sorry for you if you're laying there 48, 38 years, I think it was, in the Bible. He was waiting for someone to push him in the pool. <laughs> no one did. No one will be there. And that's the sad truth, and sometimes it still makes me sad to this day, like, wow. Like, no one was there for me at the end of the day. Like, I, I lost people when I was at my lowest. Like, they were there, then they weren't there. When they realized they couldn't help me, I was the only one I could help myself. And, you know, this can correlate to a lot of people with addiction struggles as well. Like, no, I'm sorry, but no one's gonna help you unless you get help, okay? Unless you choose to change, you have to choose to change. And may this video be your positive encouragement to change. I'm not judging you, I'm loving you because I too was there with many different, you know, struggles and things I couldn't defeat and fight and demons I had to battle myself. Uh, but then I realized I can't do it myself. I had to have a higher connection, so whatever that is for you, it's gonna look different for everyone, okay? There's no judgment in that either, okay? Remember that, okay? You're being here to be supported and loved and encouraged. I'm not here to tell you you have to do this, you have to listen to the word of God. You have to, no, okay? Because that's not for everyone and that if that was for everyone, we wouldn't be here because we wouldn't be unique individual beings, right? So this is your path. This is your story. You create it the way you want to. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I'm here to motivate you to do it, to start. If you want to write that book, if you want to, hell, even play that video game. If that's the only thing you do today, at least you did something. You worked those ambidextrous thumbs or whatever. You know, you work that brain a little. You do a crossword puzzle, right? Online or some Sudoku or some, some stimulating game. Maybe you thought of a good idea for your business through playing like The Sims or something. I mean, you know, like, hey, you know, <laughs> kudos to you. You know, sometimes in the stupidest thing we do, like taking a shower, brushing our teeth, we come up with the most brilliant ideas. Or cooking dinner. It's true. It's true. Or just taking a walk, like going for a drive, you know, go for a drive. That's a good one. You know, you don't have to like be like some motivational speakers that's like, oh, go take that boxing class, go take that karate class. Like, no, let's not be dramatic and let's not like overseed our expectations. You have to start slow, especially if you have been operating so long at not doing, not starting things, procrastinating, right? We've all been there, including myself. I used to be the person that always did homework last minute, like 10. 